So we just pulled the, what they call the trumpet. It's the part where both, it's the axle and the housing right here where the uh, axle goes into the transmission, into the rear end. Uh, it's called the trumpet. We just pulled the trumpet off of the Versatile. Didn't see a lot of damage in here. We got a little bit of scarring. It's not that bad. We're we'll gonna try to set it on a trailer now. Let tent send it back to Versatile. They got a bearing in there they gotta replace. And then uh they'll come back with a new bearing on it and we're gonna try to slide it back on. Got a new bearing in the trumpet. Uh, let's try to set it back on the versatile, work those gears back together. Got a sealer around here, pulled the center gear out, got it stuck in the housing. Getting ready to slide it back in there. Bearing in there. They got the trumpet back on, trumpet housing. Get ready to put the wheels on. Jay has come over here and cleaned up the wedges. This is what holds the wheels on. Got them nice and cleaned up. He wire brushed them and lubed them up. Now we're gonna see if we can slide all that stuff back on and get this baby back rolling.
So that's it for the Versatile. We got everything back ready to roll on it. We're still waiting on a few parts from the John Deere place so we can get that 8285 fired off and back out ready to work. A little bit wet still. The top is dry because all that wind we got this weekend, but you break through that crust a little bit wet and we're gonna get another rain tomorrow. I think we got 80 something percent chance tomorrow, but we're getting everything up here ready to roll. All the tractors, everything we can, just fine tune ready to roll. So when it does dry back off, we're gonna be out there hard at it. Some of y'all have been asking me about the sweet peas and the potatoes. They made it through that cold weather all right. It was uh, really late to have a hard freeze around here, but uh, 10 hours of 25 degrees. We healed the potatoes up. I got a disc healer, we healed them up and uh, it worked. I've dug the dirt back away from them and checked on them. They're fine. They made it through the freeze all right. The sweet peas, the older ones, uh, got a little bit of burn on the leaves from two consecutive nights of frost but the younger ones that had just broke ground they, they don't even know anything hit them they look good everything's growing back there the frost and the 25 degree temperatures don't seem to affect them so uh here we go thanks for watching see y'all next time